This suitcase weighs 23 kilos. It's overweight if you're flying, and it represents the amount of clothing and textiles that each Australian sends to landfill every year. Every one of us, every year. We know about food waste and that a third of food is never eaten. Clothing waste runs parallel to that. Every day, we eat and dress to survive and thrive. Our clothes do for us on the outside what food does inside. They warm and protect our body and influence the way we feel. We make choices, fast or slow, more or less. Over centuries, we've progressed from hunter-gathering to now sourcing our food from industrial supply chains. This fast and processed food and clothing might be quick and easy, but it's not necessarily good for us or the ecosystem in which we all live. Whether we accept it or not, dangerous climate change is here. People are feeling it locally and globally. We need to make changes to the way we live now. Living sustainably means knowing how to grow and cook and make and mend. When you think about it, fashion and clothing are two different things. Fashion doesn't last. Clothing is timeless. I wonder what you've chosen to wear today. Are you wearing old or new, natural fibres or synthetic fibres, fashion or clothing? Will you be wearing it next year? We tend to buy four times the amount that we used to, even though there's now only still 365 days in the year. Global apparel fibre consumption has doubled from seven kilos per person per year 20 years ago to now 13 kilos per person. That's the global average. In Australia, we're consuming 27 kilos of new clothing and textiles every year. And in North America, it's 37 kilos each. We've been seduced by marketing and cheap clothes into buying and wearing clothes a few times before throwing them away. And have you thought about where your clothes come from? You may remember the Rana Plaza factory collapse in 2013. From the comfort of our lounge rooms, we were shocked by that tragedy. We need to ask more questions about where and how our clothes are made. And what about what you're actually wearing? Two-thirds of new clothing are now made of synthetic fibres derived from petroleum. Only one-third are natural fibres. A decade ago, it was half synthetic, half natural. Now it's two-thirds synthetic, one-third natural. And these plastic clothes are shedding microplastic particles into the environment with every wash. They don't disappear. These microplastic particles are accumulating in the environment along with dyes and other toxic chemicals that go into making our clothes. They're entering the food chain and coming back to us in our sushi. You have choices. The Slow Clothing Manifesto offers 10 ways to survive and thrive in a material world. The first five ways are about switching on. The second five get you more hands-on when you can make more time. Think, before you buy anything, how often will you wear it? Do you need it? Is it a responsible purchase? Quality. Buy the best you can afford. Buy things you love 100% and wear them for a lifetime. Natural. Buy, buy fabrics from nature. Buy clothing made from natural fibres like um, sustainable cotton, bamboo, wood, wool and silk, and linen, my favourite. Buy local. Support designers and makers who show you they're ethical and sustainable. Just have a few. Choose a signature style. Live with less and simplify your choices. The next five ways to survive and thrive in a material world are to take care, 
Get more life out of what you already own. Sort and repair. Sponge spills instead of letting them stain your clothes. And also, wash in cold water. Wash with、um, less often, and hang on the line to dry. Make and mend. Anyone can buy clothes, yet few know the satisfaction of making something for ourselves to wear. Start simple. Learn to sew on a button, or do some stitching. You can learn that today. So the most creative and playful way to survive and thrive in a material world is to upcycle, adapt garments already in circulation to create something new from old. Your TEDx QUT T-shirts were created this way, sourced from op shops, and then、um, overprinted with the logo. When you think you need something new to wear, look around you and see what you can re-stitch, revive, and repurpose. I'm wearing a TEDx QUT T-shirt. Thank you. A necklace made from a cotton singlet. And a denim penny made from jeans and, and a jacket, which it reflects my values. It's a creative, imp- imperfectly creative. Change takes time. You don't need to feel as if you've got to introduce all these changes into your wardrobe in, in, or in, in your busy lifestyle straight away. Just choose some easy ones like buying well and, and having less. Slow clothing is a philosophy. It's about owning your style and ensuring it doesn't cost the earth. Be bold, have fun as you learn to survive and thrive in a material world. <laughs>